Welcome to episode 22 of the tutorial series Live Wire 3 from Scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, we will learn about data states in Live Wire 3. We can validate data in real time in Live Wire 3. It is also possible to save a form as the user types in the input box. There is a possibility that in this case, the user may not be fully aware of all the changes that have been made, whether the, ch the changes have been saved or not. In this case, data states are useful. I have created this create post form, and it is actually fully functional. If we click on it, we can be able to have validation. And also if we type in, we can be able to have validation when we hover away like that. I want us to be able to see how we can be able to use data states to be able to just give some useful information to our user when they are working with this application. Obviously, my example might not be very ideal, but as long as you get the point, that is what the aim of this video is. Let me show you the code that we are using. So inside our LiveWire view component, this is what we have. So we are having a form with two inputs, a title and um, a description, just those ones. Then of course we are handling validation. We are also submitting the form using wire submit to a method called save that is in the backend. And of course above here we also have a way in which we are displaying the session messages. If you have been following the tutorial series from since the time I began, uh, from episode one, you are very familiar with all this that I have here. I would like also to show you my live wire class that is create post class. So I will open it here and just extend such that you're able to see. So this is how we are having it. We are having two public properties, title and description. And then we have a method that is called save. We are doing validation using the rule attribute. Then of course we are saving our post and flashing the session message and then resetting. Basically that is what we have in this form. But uh, I would like to just go ahead and uh, be able to display here if we have some unsaved changes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just have a div before the close of the submit button and then I display the changes. In this case, whether we have unsaved changes or whether our form is actually in sync with whatever it is that we have in our server backend. So let me open create post. And before we have the submit button, I want us to have a div here. And this div, maybe I want to give it a class of um, alert, alert warning, something of that sort. I've mistyped warning like that. And then, of course, we can be able to watch the dirty states by just having wire full colon dirty, dirty, like that. And then of course we will close our div and inside here we can be able to type in something. So we can say you have, have some unsaved changes, something of that sort. So now if we are to refresh Obviously, it's not displaying anything, but the moment I begin typing, now you can see you have some unsaved changes. So in this case, it's, it recognizes that our form is actually dirty. In other words, it has some changes that have not been saved. I would just like to have a beer tag to just quickly be able to make it appear here. So you can see if we start typing. It says you have some unchanged, uh, unsaved changes, but when I click on another box or when I hover away, when I click away, then it gives a different 
uh, issue. So in this case, it says the title field must be six characters. That is what we have in the validation. But then apart from that, then now whatever is that we're having is in sync with the backend because this value that I've typed has already been sent to the backend and then we have gotten our validation error. So the same if I attempt to do something on description without clicking away, then we have some unchanged, unsaved changes. And the reason why that is the case is that when we have wire.blah, because that is what we are having, wiremodel.blah, uh, it will be able to do a, a, a request to the server only when you click away from uh, that input box that you're having. But of course, you can see it is now displaying. If I type something else now without clicking outside, you can see still it tells me I have unsaved changes. Now, what if we want to have another uh, um, alert that maybe says you are... Uh, your backend and frontend are in sync or something of that sort. We can be able to just copy the same div. So I'll just like to copy this one, the same div. Um, and then we paste it here. And then now instead of having wire dirty, I will have wire dirty dot remove like that. And when I save it, I can be able to give it a different class. Probably let me give it a class of um, secondary, something of that sort. And so now once we, we type in something and the form has been in sync with the backend, then it is going to tell us what we have here under wire.remove. So maybe what I can type here is... Um, we can say that uh, you your form is is uh, in sync something of that sort and then of course we can be able to refresh and then now you see it's displaying that currently that the form is in sync in other words whatever it is that we have on the form is also uh, known uh, to whatever it is that is in the backend. But when I type in something now, you see that one is disappeared. And then we have the one that says you have some unsaved changes. It is still possible to target the, the specific property. So in this case, we can be able to have inside the title, we can be able to target this title property or maybe the description property here and be able to display something. So in this case, we can have the same thing, the same alert. So maybe I can just copy this downwards like that. And then instead of having just wiredirty.remove, what I'm going to have is uh, wiredirty because we want to see if we have some unsaved changes in the title. And then on top of that, what I want us to do, I want us to, to also um, target our title. So in this case, what we can be able to have is wire dirty, and then we, we can also be able to have wire target. Target. And then, of course, we pass in whatever property we are targeting. So in this case, we are targeting title like that. So in this case, um, we can say you have you have some unsaved changes in the title, something of that sort. So when I save and um, we refresh our form, as you can see, it's saying we are in sync. But if I type something, then you can see we are having that we have some unsaved changes in the title. But of course, this one will also be noticed by this other div that we have here. It is still possible also to target um, and, and, and toggle classes. So depending on whatever it is you're doing, maybe we can be able to turn this uh, input box here to a different color. And uh, I want us to attempt and do that. 
so if we have the title being dirty we can be able to also go to the title and be able to just the title input and be able to display the a different a different uh, so what we are going to do inside our our title input we can be able to add something here that will be able to give a different class when we have a data state so for example i can be able to have wire dirty dot class and then we can be able to pass the class here so in this case we can be able to pass a bootstrap class we can either say something like um, uh, border and give it a color maybe we can say uh, warning something of that sort so now whenever we have unsaved changes in the title then we have some warning in this case the bootstrap class for warning is some sort of a yellowish color around the input box so if i type like that and then um, we type a value you can see we are having some yellowish uh, color being displayed this is uh, the end of this tutorial episode please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell by doing so you'll be notified when i upload another awesome video if you like the video you can give it a thumbs up and share you are also welcome to engage in the comment section thank you